Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we fought the Dojo Masters and became the ultimate champion of the world. In this episode, we are finally going to start Chapter 7, but where do we start Chapter 7, you may ask? Well, Twink is lacking on, slacking on the job, so we're just going to go ahead and talk to the next most intelligent person in the universe, Merlon. And hey, looks like he has a guest. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Be our guest. Wear a vest. Shave your chest and... Uh, I don't know any other word that rhymes with guest. Nice to meet you. I came from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north at the very end of the earth. What the heck are you supposed to be? Are you like a Gengar or something? I don't know. I know it's a ninji, but still. Merle, the, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. He is searching for you. You can be sure something important is afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take tidings of you to Merle. I think somewhere deep below Toad Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Can we just talk about how that dude just went through the door, can't even open it? <laughs> The Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He awaits you in Starborn Valley. Alright, alright, let's just go there. Alright, so we gotta go through the Totan sewers once again. Spin through here, and we'll be good to go. Now, if you didn't fight Super Blooper before, then you're gonna have to fight him now, because he is in the way on your way to Shiver City, so we're just gonna have to go fight him. Well, you don't have to fight him because we already did that before. Because I'm ahead of the game. But if you are not ahead of the game like me, then you're going to have to fight him. This is not sushi. That is what? Alright, just ride sushi over here. There's another pipe to Yoshi Village, I believe. And here we are. I think we... No, I don't think we use Lackluster. Oh, God, you guys. God darn it. Let's see. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, pfft, not in there. Okay, that was a waste of time. We got a power block. whoop de doo Get away from me, you fool! You fool! Alright, there is a block here that we couldn't reach before. What does it contain? It contains a shooting star. Alright, we'll take that. I buy that for a dollar. And there's some other other blocks we got here. They're invisible. We don't need to use one because I know where they are. Because I'm just so skilled. I say that as I can't hit the third one. Alright, there you go. Uh, yes, we gotta go into that door. What's in here? Another coin, whoop de doo Alright, let's go ahead and jump across here. And, of course, I fail. I fail! I refuse to use para carry though. I like how Sushi's just stuck. I refuse to use para carry because I am skilled at jumping. I think we need para carry for the last one, though, so... Fine! I'll use para carry. Now, is there not an extra block there, or... Uh, I don't know, let's find out. Uh, was there... Oh, there was another block here, so I didn't need to use power carry after all. God darn it, I like how I jumped down here. Uh, of course, now I gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> but on the bright side, I don't have to use power carry this time. Yay, I'm skilled, right guys? No. Alright, here we are in this blue dabu dee dabu da door. Just go down this pipe. And, okay, it's all frozen and stuff. No, I'm not gonna say any musicals. Alright, let's go hit the super block, the second to last one in the game. We're gonna upgrade Cooper, leaving just one lowly pathetic party member left unupgraded. Ha <laughs> stinks to be you, Goombario. Alright then, that. And Cooper is upgraded to Ultra Rank. Hooray! Cooper, the most useful party member ever, am I right, guys? No. Okay, now let's go over here and enter. Chapter 7! A Star Spirit on Ice! Irma Gerd, it's snowing, guys! I love the snow, as you all know. And you know, I love rhyming. I do it all the timing. Oh, whatever. And I say whatever a bunch of times. In this cold weather. I don't know. Okay, here we are in Shiver City. It's the best place ever because there's penguins everywhere. Penguins are so cool and so is snow and everything. It's so awesome. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is go over here into the mayor's house. Apparently, this is the mayor's house and this is the mayor's wife. Oh, 
we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please, go right in. All right, let's go see the mayor. I'm going to give him the Powerpuff Girls mayor voice, because that's the best mayor voice ever. Oh. Kind of hard to give him a voice when he's dead. Rude much. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. <coughs> Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear, you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. <gasps> no! Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a... Penguin murder mystery! Mamma mia! What did Mario get himself into? What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. I <laughs> like how Wise just standing there. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! Oh, my darling husband! Somebody clipped his flippers! By Puffin, you're right! The mayor's been murdered! This is like a mystery novel, except it's real! How tragic! But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him! Right there! The man with a suspicious mustache! I told him not to come in the house, but he just barged right in! My husband was alive right up until this man showed up! He must be the murderer! Hey you, mustache! Are you listening? This good woman's accusing you! What do you say for yourself? No, no! Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We got business here. What are you, Gumshoe? He's, he's green like Gumshoe, so I guess I can give him the Gumshoe voice. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I uh, saw it with my own eyes. Liar! Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yeah, yeah. Mario, um, Mario didn't do it. It's mean that you're treating him like a bad guy. Even though there's no, um, evidence! Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more, for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. I got this guy acts like Gumshoe too. Ah, oh, perfect! I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. All right, then we gotta go find the real murderer. So we don't really have any leads other than the fact that the penguin, Mayor Penguin, had a note in his hand that said Herringway. Whatever that means, hmm. Alright, so we're just gonna have to go look for where this Herringway dude may be. Maybe he's the murderer. Alright, hey! Chuck Quizmo here to lighten the mood! Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Yeah! Then let's go to the question! Question! What color of pants was the Goomba King wearing? That is red and white. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! We got the star piece. You correctly answered four questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Alright then, and I got this penguin's blocking the pipe so we can't leave. You better show some evidence, you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin. Until you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from the spa. Oh no siree. I'm serious now, there's no use trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. <laughs> Alright, whatever. We got an item shop over here, which is cool. Alright, we got like a dizzy dot. Oh, we can't buy anything? What? Look, I'm not selling anything to Mayor Penguin's killer. Get out of here, will ya? I'm not the killer, alright? Jeez. Hi. Okay, let's better hurry up and find this killer before, like, I, I don't know, before I get a desperate need for items, apparently. Just go over here, and hey, we get to skate on the ice rink. Yay! Wee! Oh, there's a key down there. Hmm, how about we break the ice? Or uh, whatever. Gotta make ice puns, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Alright then. Gee, I wonder what door this key goes to. I have no idea. Alright, use sushi in the frozen waters to grab this warehouse key. Alright then. Let's go ahead and jump. And let's go and use this secret door. Not really a secret door, it's right in plain sight, so it's not that much of a secret, it's just more of a locked door. And we go up here, and let's see what we got. We got a spring, and we got a slope. Whee! Ermigurd, a chimney! I can be Santa once again! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Uh, not a professional Santa, apparently. Let's go down the chimney! I said go down the chimney. There you go! Yay! Oh, mamma mia, I'm picture black and covered in soot. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room, though, the chi through the chimney. Ingenious. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking, that's ridiculous, I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop at an end of the mayor's house. Engage stairs! Alright then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Alright, gonna do that, but first I wanna get Wah back out, because sushi is useless, and I just love having Wah out. Either Wah or Bo. Alright, there he is, and I'm gonna get there first, I'm gonna get there first, nee 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 I'm gonna go there first, he just disappeared, that's how slow he is, nee 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 I'm going first, cause I got spin dash, and you just got a little waddle power. Herp a derp a derp derp derp. What?! <laughs> that was weird, you just like, teleported and stuff, alright, whatever. Alright, here he is. Let's go ahead and bring him in. Now cuff him, boys. Buff him, coys. Cuff him, toys. I don't know. Oh, you, oh, oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that the penguin behind you, the mystery novel writer named Erringway? What, what? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Erringway written on it. Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Mm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. God, definitely- This is seriously just gumshoe penguin form. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Erringway, you cold hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear Matt, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Mm, yes, yes, you were good friends. Ah, uh -uh, but that was just a cover to so that no one would suspect you of this anus crime. I said anus crime because Gumshoe doesn't use H's. Wow. Oh, that's wonderful. That's it, isn't it? It's all of this. I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never do so. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. i just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Shut up! Mmm, this Penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Uh. 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 Oh my aching ouch! Oh, good gracious! Hello, everyone! What's going on here? What? What? Mayor, we thought you were dead! Our backroom murder mystery is awash! What a plot twist! Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh yes, of course! I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor! Yes, that's what happened! Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toe Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Seen the little oinks. Sometime after this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But Maya, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. I'm gonna go get some instant noodles. Oh, sorry, so sorry. 
Uh, I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for a sequel to my novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello, sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You better bundle up. Alright, things have been cleared up. The mayor's not dead after all, because this game's rated E for everyone. You can't have... Well, I guess you could have death in an E-rated game. It's happened before. So, whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and exit this city. The shiverest of cities. But first, we're gonna want to go buy some vines. Like a life shroom, for example. Sweet, delicious life shroom. Packed a little heavy... Of course I am! Forget it then. God darn it. Uh, whatever. So, at least we could buy life streams there if you want, but yeah. We are finally able to exit the city, which we'll be doing in the next episode. Next time on Paper Mario, we are going to exit Shiver City and start heading towards Starborn Valley. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.